Hi everybody, my name is AEMU and I am the creator of a blog that I've been blogging for for the past two years, Chicago Art Life Media. I created this blog to promote people who are in Chicago and who are doing things on their own, whether it's artists, photographers, models, um, programmers, business owners, uh, fashion icons, fashionistas, fashion designers, artists, which I might have said already, um, painters, crafters, I blog about them all. And this is the first video that I'm working on, and I hope you enjoy. Hi everybody, my name is A. Mu, and today we're going to go visit a friend of mine, Angelica Grizzard. She is a makeup artist based in Chicago, and today she is working on a photo shoot, and we're going to go check her out. Look what I'm going for. Now I'm thinking about probably like a deep red, mm -hmm. a really nice deep red, a gloss eye, still new, room brows, face very fresh, but I'm sculpted. So I'm definitely gonna contour and um bring out the cheekbone, bring forward, you know, uh, you know the high points, mm -hmm. you know, slim down the nose a little bit, you know, things of the natural stuff. Okay. So you said you were self-taught. I don't want you to give away all your secrets, but like, how did you go about being self-taught? Well, younger, I, I used to draw. Mm -hmm. I still draw. And, you know, I have a lot of, a lot of, you know, great artists in my family, from my cousin, just like the, to my mom. And I think just watching, uh, you know, looking at some mom growing, growing up and then watching my cousin draw, mm -hmm. that really inspired me. Cause Think about it. she used to draw portraits. It was like that was dope. Mm -hmm. So it just it kicked off, and when I started doing it, it was natural. It was like breathing. <laughs> and I was I'm still into museums, into music then. So you know, between that and you know just everyday fields that are active, you know, activity as a kid, you really ain't got much to do so I go out and play. <laughs> So I used to stay in the house, draw, and then went to high school. And I'm my art teacher is Boom, wonderful lady, wonderful. She actually taught me the proper way of drawing. And then you know, going out through life, it's like I don't draw as much, but I used to play my own makeup. All oh, the whoopings I get, all oh, the whoopings, baby. Honestly, I've been in makeup since I was little, little. 
So when I got into like my teenage years, I used to tell my girlfriends, come over so I could do your makeup. Uh-uh, this ain't right. Your eyeshadow shouldn't be like this. <laughs> you need to do your liner like this. And I just it just kept on going. It kept on going. And I was turned 21. They couldn't tell me nothing. I was getting the foundations together. I need this. I need that. And I was like, man, I really enjoy doing this. I should have been one of the, the original YouTubers, but I had no clue of how to do it. Mm -hmm. I just did it and I practiced a lot on myself. I read a lot of books uh, from Kevin McCoy to, um, what's her name, Pat, it's gonna come to me. She's like one of the staples in the fashion world. Mm -hmm. It's Pat something, it's gonna come to me. But just looking at different artists, looking at the styles from drawing incorporate that into my makeup and how I do things and it just one day I knew I had a shitload of makeup I had tools and I was doing stuff so after I met my husband and I had my daughter we got laid off mm -hmm. that's yeah. what happened girl okay. <laughs> I was wondering what happened there. Yeah, we got laid off. The company shut down and we had just had a baby and we just got married and we were unemployed for six months. And I was like, I need to do something with my life. And he was like, all right, so what do you want to do? I was like, I want to go to school. I was supposed to sign up that, not August, but I was, I was too scared. I was, ooh, I doubted myself all the way. I was scared shitless. And then, like six months had passed, being unemployed in the house, I was like, "You ain't got shit to lose. You ain't got no job. You ain't got nothing to do with yourself. You got a kid. You got a husband. What you gonna do?" So he got a job working with the post office. He was like, "All right, I work. You go to school." I started school in March, and I graduated a month early. And um, I had to wait to get my license and everything, so that took another six months. Yeah, <laughs> and then like as soon as I got my license, a week later I was in somebody's spa, and oh, wow. the spa was cool. Mm -hmm. It's not what I wanted to do. So like being cut down, and I was like, okay, you need to stay, take a in your career. So I took one. I jumped. I was scared. Mm -hmm. Still scared, but I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? There's only one way to do it. And who knew the opportunities that opened up? Again, I'm grateful for, you know, the wonderful connections that helped me get along this far. But I'm also grateful for, you know, my, who knew those little trials and errors mm -hmm. that you go through in my life that get you ready for this point that you have no idea that you get ready for. So that, along with that, I was just... <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can do that. 
every shoot. Hey, put the hoop. GM is sitting there with his arm and brought them myself. Actually, the way they they're very calm, very um, close to beats. Eyelashes. That's so, eyelashes. They're too pop. Mm -hmm. And the texture and the you mad at his lashes? Oh. Yeah, I might have to scalp them right quick. Look at them lashes. Look at them lashes. Oh. <laughs> It's there. We all know it's there. <laughs> So basically you're saying everything I have at home, just throw it away. <laughs> I have self, don't ask. <laughs> I don't know. The cheapest one. I don't know. <laughs> Two that's good. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. I've got some little hidden treasures. Mm -hmm. That's great. I do think you use that, but just pretty much like silicone base for you. Mm -hmm. Good moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Let it sink. Okay.
ground. I just pushing the ground work. Mm -hmm. Going hard on, you know, I had some really great friends to put me and connect with, you know, wonderful people. And that led to, you know, meeting more people that's how I met this other day. Just, um, I was school with Angela. Mm -hmm. So, and then you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just communication and networking, you know, getting out there. I honestly, this year, yeah, last year was more of an addition. Mm -hmm. It's the second and we are ready to shoot. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much just putting your best in the right? and just go hard. Like, I don't mind jumping off that cliff. Hell, I didn't got a scrape or two, so with the scrapes I'm gonna get, I know the moment. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna go flat on my face. I'm gonna sweat before I hit that ground. Yeah. So I'm cool. Let's get it, you know? Yeah. <laughs>